this cold December day, we are on our merry What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here. Welcome to Vlogmas day number five. My favorite number ever. Before I get into today's topic, we are going to take a trip really quick because I thought of a good giveaway for this topic. Let's do it. Oh hey, hey. This cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy, so giddy up, root of my dear. on YouTube it's your boy Aiden here this is no joke my third time trying to make this video to explain this court case to you guys <sighs> I think I might have had it I think I finally got down the points to make I don't want this video to be long because I want you guys to really understand and grasp the concept of how important this course case court case is so this is the masterpiece cake shop who is refusing to make a cake for a gay couple because they feel it goes against their beliefs of what marriage is and they believe marriage is between a man and a woman and they feel as though um, their freedom of speech and expression as an artist is being hindered and stopped by this gay couple who wants them to make a cake. Okay. If you want to learn the exact details of everything involved, I'm putting a link below so you can check out the real, real details. But these are the things you really need to take away from this court case. This gentleman who is a cake decorator, and I just want to say that I also was a cake decorator for seven years and I'm LGBT. So I, I feel like I, you know, I, I get, I get, I get it. Okay. This cake decorator feels that they are an artist, but they also run a business. And this is where the dilemma comes in. There is no real way to categorize what an artist is or is not because we don't have language for that in the United States There's no like you can't look up a dictionary and be like an artist is this that and the third because an artist is just somebody who Creates something or shows an expression in some way which could be anything and this is where the biggest dilemma comes in If we're gonna call cake decorators artists, which I really don't have a problem with Okay, but if we're gonna call it cake decorators artists then people who are architects are also artists and people who are plastic surgeons are also artists and you could probably go into your local auto body shop and you can say I need to get my car painted um, what it, who is your best car artist and I bet you they'll have someone to point to you can even go so far as to say hey I'm building a new house I need plumbing I need to call a contractor who does plumbing Give me your best, you know, I, I have a really cool artistic house. Can you make the plumbing really artsy? And I want to be able to see some of the plumbing throughout my house because I want, to, I want the, exposed, the exposed pipes and I want it to be artsy. So let me know your best artistic plumber. So do you get what I'm saying here? The concept is, is that there is no clear definition of art. And so when you mix art and business together, now you have a really messy situation because when, it, when you're an artist, you get to express yourself in some way and then people can decide to either buy it or not buy it. And no one is going to hinder your expression of that art. But when you're a business and you're doing something like making a cake, you don't just create a cake and then the people buy the cake, whatever it is. No, you have to sit down with them and you have to say, what are the colors of your wedding? And what are the colors of your birthday? Or what, you know, what are the colors of the, of the bridal shower or whatever it is, right? Um, and then you have to get their theme and you have to create this cake and you have to feed the amount of people that they want there So there is limitations on your expression of art So again at what point is art business and can business be art? Because the dilemma is that again if you're an artist no one has the right to hinder you just like freedom of expression freedom of speech Okay, 
But if you're a business, you do have, um, there are laws and there are practices that you need to practice as a business when serving the public. Now, we do have the right to refuse. Um, as a business, you have the right to refuse things uh, or f serving people, but that cannot be based on, you know, uh, color of skin, uh, nationality, um, religion, any of that stuff, right? So that's where this court case gets really tricky. The biggest dilemma here is that if this cake decorator wins, there could be auto body shops, there could be doctors or surgeons, there could be lawyers, there could be anybody who can make a good enough case to say that their business is art or an expression of their art, okay? Um, clothing, okay? Clothing companies, stuff, right? Um, they could deny services because to LGBT people because this is their art. And if this court case wins, the thing with the Supreme Court that you have to remember is that if the, the things go to the Supreme Court because nobody can come up with a good enough answer, right? It goes to this jury, it goes to that judge, it goes here, here, it climbs up the ladder. And then the Supreme Court goes, okay, we have to make a big decision on this. And the dilemma here is that if this gentleman wins, the masterpiece cake, cake decorator, if he wins, then again, that means that anybody can deny services of their artistic expression. And so it's a big deal in a lot of ways because let's say he does win you know there are going to be other cases that follow this if this if this gentleman wins other cases will follow um and that's the biggest thing that's the biggest biggest thing so it is a very important court case for the lgbt it's a very important car court case i think honestly for artists too in a lot of ways because i think this might put definitive language around what is considered art and what is considered business and what happens when those two come together so yeah you should be paying attention it's important if you're in the lgbt world if if you care or a supporter of the lgbt world um again i really think that you can walk into any business establishment and look at something and be like wow this is like a piece of art who created this i mean even you know i mean I, that that's my thing is that at what point is it art or is it business? And at what point do we draw that line? Because the, the, it could be a snowball effect, right? Like this one person's an artist and this person's an artist and the lawn care people are artists and your laundry, if you, if you know, your laundry mat folder, if you get your laundry done at someone, they're an artist because they fold the art, they fold it in an artistic way. You know what I mean? Um, so that's really the biggest dilemma here, and that's why you need to pay attention. So um, I'll be on the lookout. Please be on the lookout. See what happens with this court case. It is an important case, and I hope that I was able to explain it in an understandable way since it is the third time I've made this damn video. <laughs> All right, so we've got three things to do before this video is officially over. The first thing is that today, today only for 24 hours, December 5th, my clothing company, 0.5cc, is doing a flash sale. So we have like 30 plus items on sale, some as low as $9.99, and free shipping to US. So if you ever want to support me or my nonprofit and you've been waiting to buy something, now is the time. So I'm rocking all 0.5 today. So this is a hat, this is one of our shirts. Um, and then the second thing we have to do, which Jaylee's a little jealous of, is we have to do the announcement of what today's giveaway is. So, based on our theme of cake decorating and stuff, I thought it'd be fun to get you guys a bunch of stuff to decorate with. So that's what we have. So we've just got this tin full of all different awesome decorating things for you to decorate for the season. Plus, these are fuzzy socks, which I'm sure Jane Lee's extra also jealous of. Yes, she is. Um, socks, a cute little, uh, what's this? Reindeer. A kitchen towel, some decoration, decorational things, as well as some other sprinkles, and a cool tin to put your decorated items into. Again, uh, this is kind of the, the winnings. And the whole concept is like, again, we talked about cake decorating. I did the, the uh, cookie recipe. So you can go back in my videos, grab that recipe, make some cookies for yourself. Also gonna be throwing in a little something extra. All of these giveaways have a little something extra, but that's special to the recipient. And then I guess the very last thing we have to do is go into, go to the computer and pick out 
the three winners of the top surgery book. So let's load up the computer and do that. All right, so I'm here at the computer, as you can see, and we've got 221 comments. So what I've been doing is just like loading all the comments up and then picking. So this is cool because three people will win today. So let's see. All right, y'all. So it was just, uh, I'm trying to make these videos under 10 minutes, but it's been really hard. My first goal was under eight and I've had to switch it to under 10. So I'm going to keep trying to make these videos shorter so it's not taking up your whole day. So I fast forwarded all of this. Thank you everybody who watched. If you want to enter, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Catch you tomorrow, guys. Peace.